blueprint. Okay. When the blueprint of this teaching hospital was uh, brought to limelight, yes. there are so many beautiful things. Yes. Airstrip, school, parks, so many other things. Yes. Unfortunately, even the housing was not completed. Yeah. What are you expecting to see its actualization, part of the blueprint within your tent? Well, um, there are so many things I want to do. I want to uh, have uh, a functional trauma center. As you're coming, you would see a building just by the side. That's a trauma center. So I want to have a full-fledged trauma center in this hospital. Then we also want to have a full-fledged amenity wing in this hospital. The Kodi Foundation have agreed to have two centers in uh, EBU Tishon Hospital. Uh, those two centers are centers of cardiology and cardiothoracic, and then nephrology and uh, urology. So in, in essence, by the time we have those two centers, we should be able to be doing uh, open heart surgery, and we should also be able to do um, kidney transplant in this um, hospital by the time the center is fully functional. When we come back, we are going to discuss more with Professor Ahmed Undagas Hamidu, the Chief Medical Director of Ahmadu Bello University Teaching Hospital. ABS Cleaning World. Fabrics need a special touch. ABS Cleaning World. Efficient and reliable laundry and dry cleaning services to be smart, exuding confidence, dealing with the public, be neat, dress well. ABS Cleaning World provides the best laundry and dry cleaning services for you. We guarantee you cannot run out of clean and neat clothes. We stand in for you. ABS Cleaning World makes it easier for you. We clean all types of clothes, suits, uniforms including military, paramilitary, police, and school uniforms. Traditional dresses such as Papandiga, Kaftans, Asho Case, Gele, including the local touch of Bugu, costumes of all kinds, tables and bedsheets, blinds and curtains, blankets and lots more. Bearing in mind to keep your colors bright, we clean all types of fabric with a special touch. Our laundry and dry cleaning services are custom made specifically for you. Ours is not only machines, we also add technical skill to our experience in serving you well with a unique personal touch just as doing it yourself. ABS Cleaning World, two days delivery, packaging and a free delivery pickup. ABS Cleaning World, efficient and reliable laundry and dry cleaning services, the best you get. ABS Cleaning World is located at number 90B, IBB Way, adjacent Professor Abdullahi House, GRA Zaria. You can call us on the following numbers 070-3776-3385 or 080-55-540464. ABS Cleaning World keeps your clothes clean and neat. You can depend on us. We got you covered. ABS Cleaning World. Fabrics need a special top. Welcome back. One of the challenges I discovered in the teaching hospital is internal transportation. People with vehicles are allowed to drive in, park, seat, whatever services they need. But people without vehicles, with patients, some aged, some obese, drop by the gates and had to trek. Are you thinking of getting the teaching hospital a shuttle that will ease the patient's movement within the hospital? Well, I, I, I think maybe you read my mind uh, because uh, in 2021 I raised that and so in 2020 budget there are, there are going to be motorized vehicles within the hospital that will be transporting patients from one place to the other. So it's something that, I, that I've thought of it and um, it's already in the 2022 budget. Wow. There is one particular aspect that is worrying. What is it? Many people resisted the movement of the teaching hospital from Tudumada to Shika. Yeah. And from that point to this day, it gave birth to two things. One, shortage of accommodation to staff. Second, bad publicity that the teaching hospital is uh, blood-sucking 
debt traps, debt camps, and all sorts of labels have been given to the teaching hospital. Your predecessors did not use this mindset that when you come to Shika, it's just debt. What are you doing about it? Well, one has to be very clear about this. Shika, the tertiary hospital, what it means is we still have the primary, secondary care before coming to tertiary. So ideally, patients that come here are patients that are supposed to be receiving tertiary health care and not the primary and then secondary. Sometimes what happens is, if you're sick, you just go to the Babala house, then you go to the, the, the neighboring chemist. It is only when they, no, no one can do anything to the patient, that's when they reverse to the patient. So, if, even if they call our hospital as a death trap, well, uh, it's not the hospital that, 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 that did it, it's a, it's a patient because they didn't come early to the hospital, they wasted their money, wasted their time uh, assessing health facility from chemists and what have you. So, that's the cause of, cause of the uh, death penalty that seems to say that needs to occur in the teaching hospital. This occurs not only to our own teaching hospital, it occurs to all the teaching hospitals in the other part of this country. This is beyond a public relations department to handle. It is a jinx and the hospital should not just accept it because you are a tertiary institution. You have to try to use all other government of communication uh, managerial aspects including traditional polio was resisted i remember one of your predecessors was at the national limelight as a pathologist to be able to bring this but the, by the time they brought in traditional rulers the sultan himself talked about polio and the same vaccinating and number of things and people keyed in this jinx is not healthy. We need to see activities that will change this mindset. Do you think you'll be able to break this jinx? Inshallah, we should do that. It's only when you don't know the cause of a thing. That's when uh, you may be able to, um, to correct it. Now we know what is the cause of a patient coming late to the hospital. So we would sit down and, and, and then strategize and see how we can um, educate the populace and make them come to hospital as early as possible. I want to bring something back to you again as a medical doctor. You are part of the problem. Many of you are the ones referring patients to your own private hospitals. Most of the private hospitals are owned by staffs of your city hospital. Well, to the base of my, my, my knowledge, uh, we do we do not um, uh, encourage people to refer patients from uh, the teaching hospital to private clinics. Uh, is against the, the, the laws and practice of the hospital. To my own understanding, we are, we are not aware of those uh, referrals. So if they do it, they do it behind the management's back. I cannot protest anything on this. We will go in another break. When we come back, I'm going to ask him what I consider my star question. Don't go away. Your Excellency, during your visit, some years back, my predecessor of blessed memory, uh, the Emir of Zozo, as you shall be addressed, made requests in the areas of healthcare and water supply. I'm proud to say, and also to stand before you here today, to say that there was a huge intervention in Amadi Bali University Teaching Hospital. Um, I'd like to also recognize the efforts of uh, the, uh, our Amiable Minister of Finance. Your Excellency, uh, we are happy and I can assure you the entire people of Zaria and the neighboring states are very happy with the intervention there because we no longer have to travel to Sokoto, to Kano and Abuja before we can be screened you know, by the MRI machine. So I am indeed very grateful for that. Welcome back. It's Noble News Corker. And our host is Professor Ahmed Umbugas Hanidu, the Chief Medical Director at Madubel University Teaching Hospital, Shika, Zaina. I said, this will be my star question. I can beat, grade, rank the institutions in Zaina. 
I think the teaching hospital should be number four, if not five. The teaching hospital is a bit away from Amadou Bello University. That means Amadou Bello University still precedes the teaching hospital. Secondly, not because of the present security uh, challenges, but nationally, when you have a Nigeria Army Depot with almost four sister organizations under it, PT School, NNS, uh, Military Police, and Engineering Corps, all depot could be ahead of the teaching hospital. Internationally, you may agree or disagree, but I still rank aviation ahead of you. The reason why I cannot uh, uh, rank the university energy center ahead of you is because it is also a wing of the university. So it will come under you. But because of its nuclear position, I can rank it above in the teaching hospital. My, my concern is not the ranking. I'm just trying to portray the point. Out of all the institutions in Zaria, his Highness Ambassador Ahmed Bamali mentioned only the teaching hospital to the president. Are you his darling son? I'm not done, sir. I recall that recently your accident and emergency uh, unit was named after his predecessor, Shibu Idris. I said, who is this man? The darling of the Emirate Council? Well, um, you can say I'm the darling of the Emirates. Uh, uh, I mean, you can say that. But it's just that um, the Beatrice Hospital is within the area. So as far as within the area, we have those, the, the cordial relationship between the hospital and the Emirates Council. And so for us to have named the late area, uh, we named our actual emergency as uh, His Royal Highness Dr. Shane Idris Accident Emergency. This is just because of what the late Emir has been doing to us. In fact, when he did his uh, centenary or something like that, you know, when in his speech asked for the federal government to assist Amadou Bele University. So if um, an institution is always by your side, you have to be also by the side of that institution. So we, we have a very, very cordial relationship between Amadou Bele University and the Emirate Council.